to tell you that we are very happy that you found time, despite your very busy schedule, to come and honor a friend, a great man of God, a man who has given dedicated service to the Church of Christ for 45 years, and crowning it all another 20 years as the bishop of this diocese. Your Excellency, we are your students and we keep on learning. You have taught us the value of friendship, the importance to honor people who have walked with you through a journey. Your presence here is very humbling to us because it's a testament that you keep friends. Despite the high office that you occupy, despite your very heavy schedule, national and international commitments, you always have time to come and honor friends. Na kwa hayo tunataka tuseme ya sandi, tumpigia Raisi Makofi. Your Excellency, we are honored to attend this service with you. To honor a great man, a great bishop, a man of God, and a truthful bishop as well. Bishop Kagunda has been very instrumental in our leadership journey. All of us leaders here from Nyeri City are here. All these leaders here elected, they may not want to tell your excellency. None of them did not pay a visit to Bishop Kagunda, I included, for his blessings and affirmation. So as a as Kofu Hilo Menda Siju Tukwa Tunaona Nani Kwa Baraka Lakini Tuta Mungu Atarusaidia Bishop Kagoda has been a great mentor to us in leadership and we always call upon him for advice and he has been available Bishop Kagoda Your Excellency led Christians in this great county to start with the truth and fairness and he's among the few church leaders in this county who told the Christians the value of keeping your word, the value of honoring your commitment. And he did it every Sunday. And the Christians listened to him. We congratulate you for the fat 45 years of great service. And as you proceed on retirement, we wish you well, we pray for you, and we'll always be available if you need us. Tutakuwa pale. Rais huyu kiongozi wetu, tunataka tukupatie bure tu, hakuna kitu utauliza wewe. Umutafutie pahali hapo, kai kai hapo. Because despite retiring, his mind is very sharp. He came to see me last Saturday, and I listened to him for two hours. And he's a man full of wisdom, and he told me great words of advice, and I listened to him. And I think he has a contribution that he can make to this great republic, Your Excellency, and he can be useful in your leadership. Nikimalizia, Niseme, as Bishop Kagoda exits, the Archbishop, His Grace, has explained in a very clear manner, the journey to transition. I want to plead with our Christians and the clergy, please, let the transition from Bishop Kagonda to the new bishop be peaceful and non-confrontational. As your son, please honor us. When we read the papers and we find men and women of God are in court over leadership, we feel a little bit down. The legacy of Bishop Kagunda will be torn into pieces if the news we shall be reading is about a fight over who succeeds him. The Archbishop has explained the Constitution. It sounds very transparent. And very easy. I want to appeal to those who have gone to court, please, now that the Archbishop is coming to start the journey for transition, go and withdraw those cases 
allow the archbishop to manage the transition to give us a new bishop